What is going on guys, it's Reflex here, and I realize I'm a little bit late to this, but today was a day for the reveal of the next Call of Duty, and I have not watched the trailer, but I guess it's none other than Modern Warfare. Now, from what I see, I have a lot of the bullet points of what it is, but I guess there is cross-play support, which that is the first for any Call of Duty in history, and I'm glad that they're going to do that, because now, if I got friends that are on PS4 or Xbox, now it doesn't matter what console I play it on, I get to play with my friends, which is cool. Now, it says it's not a remake of Modern Warfare, it's an all-new reimagining, which is cool. It's a brand new engine, which I, I think a lot of people have said that it's probably the most stunning Call of Duty they've seen in a while. I'm not sure if that's going to be, you know, obviously died down in multiplayer sense, but... For the campaign, if you're a campaign type of person, you'll probably enjoy the heck out of this. And then there's also new co-op gameplay. Now, I've seen some screenshots where they showed off that Spec Ops is going to be a thing again, which is cool for me because I actually enjoyed playing Spec Ops back in the day. And I remember actually playing, I don't even remember what mission it was, but it was that sniper mission. I remember playing it with my friends, which, I mean, that was always fun times back then. But then also, there's no traditional season pass, which... I'm kind of glad about and it says more free maps and content now what I've heard is they're actually every new map they're doing like an overwatch sense every new map every new weapon and stuff is it, when it comes out you get it now I'm gonna go ahead and watch this trailer live with you guys first because I have not seen it yet but one thing that I can say is that I how I want this next call of duty to be I want it since it's going back to modern warfare days I wanted everything to go back basic I want not a whole, I, don't give me all these perks where I got to choose from like 70,000 different perks. I mean, I get that's customization, that's cool and all, but I like just a simplistic, just the kind of look and feel of everything. Not a lot of perks. Give me a lot of weapons though, but not a lot of perks, not a lot of just this unnecessary stuff. No specialist, none of that garbage. Give me kill streaks, maybe three, five, and seven like they did in the old days, or, or even like, just give a total of five perks. Give like two four um seven nine and then twelve and then obviously maybe throw in the secret moab or nuke whatever it is they're going to call it but throw in that all i can say is that i'm just really excited for this and i'm excited for the trailer but let's just get right into it you guys will see my reaction because i actually have not watched this yet surprisingly i got up late and then i had stuff to do and then i just was like oh wait today was the day of call of duty's reveal so this is my first reaction, but let's get right into it. Actual in-game footage. Oh, okay. All right. Let's see what we got. Watching this from GameSpot. Probably should have watched this from the PlayStation channel, the but oh well. Ooh, Captain Price, huh? There's a fine line between right and wrong. And somewhere in the shadows. They send us in to find them. Oh man. I'm excited for the campaign of this and everything. Spec ops, all that. You have execute authority. Bravo six. Going dark. Man, he looks badass. Obviously we'll get the multiplayer reveal probably in a couple months. Looks pretty good. When I'm seeing it in the campaign, and I understand the people are saying it looks visually stunning because it does, it really does. And normally campaigns are like that, but I'm wondering what will translate into multiplayer and like those type of modes. It looks really good though. I'm no mind. We get dirty, and the world stays clean. That's the mission. Call of Duty Modern Warfare. That is actually really interesting though. Oh, October 25th? Oh, they actually put the release date? That's nice. That is nice. That's some old comrades. Oh, that's... I'm excited for that. I really am. It's an interesting choice though. You know, I, for the next Call of Duty, we were all expecting, uh, well at least from what I was seeing, it was split. A lot of people were expecting MW4. And then some people were expecting Ghost 2. The people that wanted Ghost 2 obviously just wanted it to continue the story because a lot of people love the story of Ghost. And then the people that wanted Modern Warfare just wanted the next installment. Some people were saying maybe it'll be a brand new installment of something new. I know Black Ops said they're going to probably be doing something completely different. So whoever, whatever Treyarch's thinking, it's not going to be a traditional 
I don't think it's going to be Black Ops. I think it's going to be something brand new. But probably still in the timeline of Black Ops, if that makes sense. But I'm excited for this. It's an interesting choice to reimagine a game that already exists. But I'm down with it. I really am. It's going to be cool to see what they think. Now, my wants for this game, I just wanted to... I don't want it to be basic where it's boring, but they tried a lot of new stuff in previous games, and wh whatever your opinion is on Call of Duty, if you hate it, if you love it, if you like every new thing they added or not, I think they just need to keep the formula that they got and try to expand on it a little bit. Try to refine details, because rather than doing something new, why don't you just refine what you got and make it better? and then try to add new stuff and I hope they don't do a beta for this I really don't because the thing about betas at least for the previous games every single time there's a beta it's like the developers just kinda take that beta and take everyone's criticism about it and do nothing with it I have not in Black Ops 4 Infinite Warfare does not matter whatever your opinion is I feel like every single time there's a beta they don't really expand on anything or fix any changes Black Ops 4 they haven't fixed stuff really they try to nerf some weapons but I feel like they buff some weapons that didn't need buffing and nerf some weapons that didn't need nerfing you know it didn't make sense so I hope they don't do a beta and just kind of let it run its course from release and then fix it as it goes because I don't know betas just doesn't seem to work for Call of Duty it works for other games don't get me wrong but for Call of Duty every every game that didn't have a beta back in the day was perfect it was always good you know they fixed the things that needed fixing, and they, you know, called it a day, and it was good. Then all of a sudden, Black Ops 3 rolls around. I think that was the one that had a beta first, possibly. Or maybe it was Ghost. Maybe Ghost had one. But still, they had these betas, and I felt like they didn't do nothing with them. You know, you got the perfect opportunity to use a beta, figure out what's wrong with your game, and fix it. They have not done that in any of the betas they put out. And that's why a lot of the people end up just not playing the games, you know, because... Call of Duty, the player count has gone down, obviously, because some people are just kind of tired of Call of Duty. I'm not one of them. I always love every single Call of Duty that comes out, but, I mean, obviously, the fan base have died down a little bit, and I want them to go back to the peak. I want them to go back to the peak of Call of Duty where everyone was enjoying everything, no one was complaining. And obviously, you can't fix the complaining because everyone's going to complain about Call of Duty, even, like people outside the community they'll always talk crap about call of duty without ever playing it and i'm just like stay in your lane you know you don't have to come over to this game but i hope it's good my wants is obviously like i said i want it to be back to the basics not a lot of perks you know just the obvious like maybe four in each slot the three slots but four in each slot that would be good enough for me not too much equipment not too much different style of grenades i don't want to see no nine bangs i don't want to see all these extra you know weird ass grenades like, I don't want to see any of that Just give me the good old same old same old maybe make some different stuff I heard they're going back to the one shot melee they're not doing the whole if it's from the back it's a death and if it's from the front you need two hits no they're going back to the regular ways and that's what I'm liking they're going back to what was good and what no one really complained about obviously people sometimes complained about command I mean not commando knifing well that was actually the thing that people did complain about but no it was more panic knifing which I didn't really care I mean both sides can panic knife so if you got panic knifed you just didn't have a faster reaction time than the guy that knifed you bring back dolphin diving bring, bring back uh, why don't you bring back sliding and dolphin diving you know I don't know hold a different button like if you're playing tactical hold B if you want to slide and then hold the right stick if you want to dolphin that I don't know bring back some other stuff implement some new type of movement but not movement as in like stupid stuff I'm talking about just just maybe leaning at leaning back they did that in black I mean in a uh, ghost and then didn't implement it in another Call of Duty I don't think but yeah implement leaning back in the game for I think it'd be good for like search and stuff or really anything but then add some customization into multiplayer and I'm not talking about I don't want these specialists I don't want to see any specialists and I don't want to see just regular skins or something I want to see customization where you could actually Male or female, bang! Like uh, Advanced Warfare did. I had to think of it. I was about to say Infinite Warfare, but Advanced Warfare did it kind of good. You were able to customize your character, man or woman. Then you could put a beard on them. You had a set amount of faces you could choose from. 
shoot, go, if since they're running a new engine, go the 2K route. Let you face scan yourself in the game with the Call of Duty mobile app. You know, that's something they could do. Implement the app into the game. Add some daily challenges or something where you could get those COD points, I think they're calling it, or COD coins. Something like VC, how they do on 2K or how they did on Black Ops early in the day. I accidentally hit the table. But, you know, I heard they're going back to that way in Black Ops where you could actually just buy every single thing from currency you can earn in game. Now, obviously, you know, with microtransactions nowadays, there's still going to be that microtransaction for buying probably like 7,000 COD coins for $3, 14,000 for this much. 50,000 for this, 100,000 for this, you know, they're obviously going to do that, but I'm fine with that as long as it's easy to earn these coins in game and they get exactly what you want. Maybe say you want a certain camo and it costs a little extra, let me get it. Say it's a diamond camo, you don't want to do all the grinding, have it to where you have to get to fifth prestige like they did in Black Ops or something, or just make it even, you want dark matter? Well, get to max prestige, level whatever it is. Um, and then let it be like a million COD coins, just nothing crazy like that, but you don't have to grind except for just playing the game in general. Get your coins, save up for that, whatever it is you want, and then buy it. You want a certain skin? Go ahead and buy it. You want a certain weapon? Go ahead and buy it. They add a new weapon in Call of Duty, no more supply drops, just go ahead and buy that. I think that would be cool. I don't want to see supply drops, maybe they'll probably do it, I don't know, but if they're not doing it and it's just COD coins only, then ooh. That would be beautiful. I would like that. And then for the gameplay, I mean, it's obviously, since it's Modern Warfare, I feel like it's going to be Modern Warfare-esque gameplay that we've been accustomed to throughout the years of Modern Warfare 3 to Modern Warfare Remastered or even the original COD 4. I don't think it'll change that much. I feel like right when we get on the sticks, it'll be as if we never left, even though they are reimagining it in a new engine. So... It's going to have that weird feel to it, that new look to it, but I think we'll, you know, fit in just nicely. Um, let's see. DLC, I like how they're doing the new maps. Obviously, they probably have some downloadable content where maybe you could be a certain character from the story or have a certain, uh, maybe skin or something. But I don't think, I don't think they said that they're going to do like DLC maps every map is going to be free like they do on overwatch we're pretty much the blizzard way and didn't blizzard actually like aren't they teaming up with call of duty that's probably because they teamed up with activision i believe which makes sense on why now this call of duty is taking this turn of the free maps and stuff for everyone that actually makes sense because they were always the one that did that style and everyone loved that style so I'm glad they're implementing that. Hopefully they bring back a good combat record. I want a combat record like Black Ops 1 where it told me every stat. I want to see, like, I want to be in depth on every single thing. My accuracy with each individual weapon, my hit shots of where, like, that little, I uh, would say, what do they call it, the hit map or something in Black Ops? Where it showed the body and showed exactly where you normally hit with that certain weapon. I feel like that'd be cool. Just add a more in-depth little combat record I wanna I don't want to create emblems I don't care about that I want to just be able to create my character have a lot of emblems have a lot of calling cards that I could choose from but I don't want to create them because I'd rather just I don't know want it to be unique half the emblems that I see are like all the same in the games where you can create them so I don't want to see that I want to just have something where maybe I unlock it through some challenges and do something like that the spec ops I think what I want in Spec Ops is just, well, what I'm hearing is that actually the campaign will be co-op too, so that will be awesome, but then the added bonus of Spec Ops, obviously they'll have the survival in Spec Ops, but then they'll probably have the missions, which will be cool. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I'm looking forward to. Obviously sniping, but Infinity Ward has always been the developer that, even though I think there was the interviews that were saying how much they hated sniping, including uh, Vonderhaar, Treyarch, they always say they hated sniping. I feel like those two developers always kind of had a keen sense for, you know, nudging them a little bit of, hey, we got your backs, you know, even though they say they don't. The snipers are always good. The sniping gameplay is always good. They always sometimes nerf the snipers, but they, I don't know. I feel like they're always good. So I think Infinity Ward will do a good job. I mean, Infinity Ward, keep forgetting to add the D. I've been, mean, ooh, <laughs> wink, wink, pause. But no, I'm really excited for this. It's going to be interesting to see exactly what comes out of this. I just want the, I want Call of Duty to be back in its prime. 
because it's obviously far away from that whether you want to admit it or not it's not in this prime the player counts shows that the just how the pros like it's split on what the developers are paying attention to you know i think in black ops 3 they're paying more attention to the competitive aspect and that was making the casual players not too happy um infinite warfare it was paying more attention to the casual side and um they didn't really they negated all the zombies actually black ops 3 paid attention a lot to zombies but obviously they had a different developer for that but then infinite warfare they paid a lot of attention to the casual side and less attention to the um pro player side and there was a lot of people mad about that and then world war 2 that uh, i mean we're not even gonna talk about that game it was decent but i feel like they didn't pay attention they didn't know where to put their focus so it was just kind of mediocre overall and then we had black ops 4 which paid more attention to their blackout side and they didn't really fix blackout even when they were paying attention to it because they were if you could tell from the beginning when they first were talking about it that blackout was like their baby and they were gonna look at that but zombies they didn't really get a good look they didn't get a lot of you know good the easter eggs were trash i don't care what anyone says Nothing was really good in the zombies aspect. Casual play, the there was these buffs and nerfs that were really, really bad for Call of Duty that I personally didn't like. I didn't like the whole Fortnite little um, battle pass system that they were doing. I did not like that. I just, I don't know, I thought it was dumb. Um, they didn't really pay attention to much. And even pro players, there's a lot of stuff that people are just not liking. So I'm hoping Modern Warfare, they pay attention to every aspect that people are going to be playing if you're a spec ops player which i don't think there's that many of those but just in case you are hopefully they pay attention to add patches and fixes that need it and then for multiplayer have people dedicated to fixing that and make sure they pay attention because multiplayer is the probably the most played mode in every single call of duty and i'm not entirely sure why every developer doesn't just have their main focus always be on the multiplayer on both sides the casual play or the pro play like I don't understand why the focus is always one-sided but I think I think Infinity War could do a decent job with this I do it all just depends if they carry it out because that's the thing we can always say that the game looks amazing the game will be amazing but it's not up to us liking it. it's up to them carrying it out and making it good and fun to play for months on end because it's been a while like you you notice that every single Call of Duty player in recent years has gone to other Call of Duties to like kind of just they play every single Call of Duty because you can't just play one you can't just play one everyone's either playing Fortnite or if they're playing Call of Duty they're going through the routine of playing a whole bunch of different Call of Duties which I mean hey you're still getting your money's worth of playing them but I want those days where I can just play a single Call of Duty for almost a whole year and just have a blast every single day but I haven't had that in a while. And the Black Ops 4 is fun, don't get me wrong, but I enjoy Black Ops 3, World War 2, Infinite Warfare. I enjoy all of those and just going back and playing them. I want one Call of Duty to have my focus for the whole entire year. So let's see if they can do that. But let me know down in the comment section below if you're as excited for this Call of Duty as I am. Or are you skeptical? Are you a little bit afraid? Maybe you don't like Call of Duty, but let me know down in the comment section below. But if you guys did enjoy this video, leave a like, subscribe, and you guys know the drill. I will see you guys later.